Hello and welcome to Bustin' Our Wax. I'm your host, David and Arkin. Today we've got a dugout crate from dugoutcrate.com. Uh, I uh I can't remember that they I they followed me on Twitter or something, and so uh, I had no idea who they were, hadn't heard of them. So I jumped out there and they offer two boxes. One is $49.99 and the other is $99.99. And I thought, you know what? Let's just let's go for broke. What the heck? What could possibly go wrong? So uh, I went for the $99 or whatever they call it, gold crate or whatever. Check that out. The inside of the box, that's pretty cool. Different uh, labels, etc., from different uh, packs and, and uh, sets and boxes and what have you. So first of all, we have the dugout crate. Thank you for ordering at dugoutcrate.com you can count on us for bringing a monthly box da, 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 da. there you go um and I, and I paid for this they they had nothing to do with it this is all me so they're not like sponsor thing oh check this out we got some gigantic 1986 tops cards these are huge dwight gooden so we got the doc ozzy Gian from the Sox, and freaking tony gwynn Oh my gosh, that is awesome. So that's pretty cool. Those are huge cards, man. That's, here's, here's a standard card. Come on. Here's a standard card. Doo -doo -doo. And these cards. That's upside down. Look at that. Oh my gosh, these are huge. They're huge. All right. So anyway, that's pretty freaking awesome. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, we have a folded up pennant front. Excuse me. From St. Louis Cardinals. We'll just do it. We'll do a pan by. St. Louis Cardinals pennant. This thing is also huge. Look how big that is. It's, it's so big you almost see my Edutech guy's shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is awesome. That's very cool. Let's put that over to the side. Uh, let's see what else we have. Um, we have some empty top loaders. So, thanks. <laughs> I got lots of those laying around. Um, what is... I don't even know. What is this? These are... <laughs> shoelaces. These are white socks shoelaces. 40 inches long. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Look at there. So, White Sox fans, there you go. Got some shoelaces. <laughs> I had no idea what to expect. Um, now, I will say it says you get, uh, supposedly you get some uh, mid to high end, uh, not, not like premium packs, but mid to high end packs plus other goodies, I think is the way they, uh, the way they said that. Look at this. We have a... Um, dugoutcrate.com pen that's cool with various uh, again that same kind of motif with the uh, packs and boxes on it so that's very cool you can always you al always use a pen right so thanks for the pen Ooh, we have a pinnacle inside can and it features jose cruz jr on the outside this is from 1998 and if you're not familiar with these these are these are baseball cards in a can, and the can itself is a baseball card. Um, and so, uh, you they are, they're uh, highly collectible. I actually have one. Um, I'm going to have to hold this one upside down because I cut the bottom off. But I've got one for Cleveland Indians. i got a Kenny Lofton pinnacle inside. Uh, and actually, mine's a different year, I think. I can't remember what year mine is. But anyway, this is a 98. So um, essentially, you uh, it's a can of cards. And so we'll have to get a can opener and bust that open and we'll see what's inside. Because I'm not going to keep it this way. We're going to bust it open and, and see what's in there. So anyhow, nice. That's pretty cool. Neat little collectible. Uh, 1992 Fleer. That's, that's not high end at all. I mean, it's just, you know, kind of a generic whatever. So what I'm going to do is I will actually bust open the packs in future videos. Right now, this is concentrating on the box itself. We got cubes. We got the cubies. So here we go. Tops cubies. 
That's what these are. These are cubes, and inside they'll either be um, photo cubes, they'll be they'll be auto signature stamp cubes. Um, I, I think there are other like face cubes, and uh, there's all kinds of different things. So that is a cuby. Uh, we also have a couple of okay. I don't know what that was. We also have a couple of other packs. There's a triple play with the eye black stickers tattoos. 2013. Uh, I've opened tons of 2013 packs of triple play. Um, so there you go. Um, now this is kind of cool. These are tops baseball rub downs with, unfortunately a stick of gum. Although the gum is moving freely inside the package. That's a very good sign. That means the gum was not stuck to the actual rub downs. Um, I think these are from 90, no 80. I don't know why I keep saying 90. These are from 85. Uh, and so looking at the package real quick. Um, Leon Durham, I see Steve Sachs, I see. So, uh, you get two rub down sheets and a stick of bubble gum. So again, we will open that up in a future busting our wax. That's going to be pretty cool. I think that's going to be cool. Uh, I have a, bu a bubble wrap stack of cards, stack of packs rather. So let's see. Uh, one of these appears to be cut open or something, maybe. Let me see. Maybe I'm just looking at it wrong. Oh, no, it's just folded over funny. We got bubble wrap. Woo. All right. 2015 Tops Finest. 2016 Archives. 2017 Chrome. Uh, we have uh, 2014 uh, Panini Elite Extra Edition. That one actually feels a little weird. That's interesting. Uh, we also have 2015 Elite. We've got some 2017 Chrome with the Judge on the front. Donruss Optic. 2017 Heritage High Number. Um, and that's a hobby pack. Ooh, wait, are these all hobby packs? They are hobby packs. Uh, here's old school 20. Oh, well, I say old school. Uh, 2016 Babe Ruth collection. I'll be honest. I did not realize that they did a Babe Ruth collection in 2016. Um, I remember the old Babe Ruth collections, but anyway, there you go. Uh, and that does not appear to be a hobby pack. And then we have the Donruss Value 30 Fat Pack. Um, and that is definitely the retail version because it says look for retail exclusives. So there you go. So a stack of packs and we'll bust that wax in a future video. I got to find places to put stuff. And then I have, wait, what is this? Oh, whoa. Check this out. We have a coin, a gold coin, final season, Jason Jambi. That is cool. That's a New York gold, I'm assuming gold plated, but you can see, there you go. Um, where am I? There we go. It says final season, Jason Giambi. That's pretty cool. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a neat one for Yankees fans. I have no idea what the value of any of this stuff is. So, uh, in the meantime, we have a triple threads serial numbered 36 out of 525 Russell Martin. We have a Triple Threads Matt Kemp, 6 out of 30. Oh, nice. Wow. We have a number 2 out of 149 autoed Brandon Phillips. Look at that. That's a no, the top's finest, right? Uh, no, top's tier 1. Nice. Brandon Phillips. Dang. Uh, an empty top loader. I don't, I don't know what's up with that. We got lots of empty top loaders. I don't know. It's really weird. I do want to say that um, I don't know how they normally ship the box or whatever, but um, like my box was not really sealed. I mean, I could have just opened it up. So I don't know. I'm I'm assuming everything they sent is in the box, but I mean, anybody could have opened it up. It, it was it, it's literally not sealed. So if it was supposed to be sealed, it's not. Um, so here we have a uh, Jose Rios. 423 out of 525, um, and that's a uh, Tops Triple Threads. 
And then we also have we have another Topps Triple Threads, um, and this is a Scott Casimir, three seventy six out of thirteen fifty. And finally, we have Justin Upton, thirty three out of thirty six Triple Threads game used memorabilia. So there you go. That is that's uh, very cool. Let me just check the box. Oh, I'm sorry. There's more. But wait, there's more. Glad I checked that. Oh, well, check that out. Oh, my gosh. All right, we have, uh, I don't know what year this is. Um, I I don't know. Is this like a 67? I mean, is it really that old? This is a Pat Jarvis Tops coin. Um, and I'm going to have to look at that. I'm going to have to look that up to see. Can you even, can you see that? I'm going to have to look that up and see if that is a, a 67 Wow, or however old that is, that's pretty cool. And, and then a pack of, I mean, a, a piece of double bubble bubble gum. So there you go. <laughs> okay, now that appears to be the end of that. And this is the inside of the box showing, uh, you know, imprinted with uh, packs and, and boxes of cards. So there you go. So there it is. That is the dugout crate. Wow. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, checking the... Uh, I don't want to say value, but I mean, I guess I'll say value. The the general going rate for uh, the cards themselves, just to get a feel for how how good of a value was this uh, box. You know, was it it was a hundred dollar box? Was it worth a hundred bucks? Um, a lot of that depends on who you collect and what you collect, of course. And we've not actually busted into the packs themselves. But when we tally all this up, I'm going to guess that. Uh, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, uh, from a collector standpoint, I, I'd say I got a pretty good deal. Uh, generally speaking, this would be a fun box to get someone that you know is uh, that is a collector who likes to collect not just baseball cards, but you know other little tchotchke kind of things. Um, very, very cool. That, that's uh, that's uh, very neat. So anyway, that's my dugout crate, and that is what we're doing today with busting our wax. Whoosh, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I don't know, man. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. What is your opinion? What's your take on all the stuff we got? Leave that down in the comment section below. Questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories. You know the drill. Leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time when we bust our wax.